All right, guys. So today's video, we're gonna check out the Tozo A1 True Wireless earbuds. In fact, this is an upgraded version to the pair that came out at the later part of 2021. I think they made some really noticeable upgrades, which is why I wanted to talk about these but also the price that you're able to get these at right now because they retail for 30 bucks, but they're on sale and there's the little coupon box that you can check off. And so right now you can pick them up for only $16. And to start with, this is the first pair on the channel that we've checked out that's using Bluetooth 5.3. They now come in five different colors as to where the original ones you can only pick up in black. They've also decided to tune these differently after listening to feedback from the original ones coming out. So this is a company that's listening to consumers, but also giving you a lot more and not jacking up the price. So we're gonna talk about all of that. We're gonna talk about what all comes inside the box and the features and see why I think these are an absolute steal for $16. So to start with, this is one of the smallest cases that I've seen, but it's also one of the smallest pair of earbuds that I've seen. I mean, they just fit in my ear without sticking out. They're actually designed in a way to go further into your ear canal and not have a really big ear tip just blocking your whole ear canal. I mean, even the ear tip design is flat. It's made to go further in and just not stick out as much. But going back to these having Bluetooth 5.3, the one thing that I've noticed with this is I never had any kind of dropout issues, I never had connection issues, and it really is one of the most stable connections I've had being able to get a long way from my device. I mean, I was just able to walk throughout my house for the most part and not worry about the signal dropping out, and really you could get about 40 feet and not notice a difference in the connection at all. So that is a huge plus. There was no lag while testing these with movies or videos and I also didn't even notice any lag with gaming and that's a huge plus because this isn't one of those pairs that you can switch into a low latency or a gaming mode it just didn't have any lag throughout the whole time that I tested them. Now as far as using these outdoors they do come in rated at IPX5 so this isn't one of those pairs that's waterproof but for a pair that you can pick up for under 20 bucks that's fine against splashes and rain and sweat and things like that uh, this makes this one of those pairs that you might want to get as a backup pair so you don't have to worry about using your more expensive pairs at the gym or outdoors and this will be fine against all of those situations just as long as you don't submerge these into water. Now, as far as what they've included inside the box, like I said, they do have a different type of ear tip. Now they've included a small, medium, and large set of these. I did notice that the medium size that came on them out of the box just fit me perfectly. Now, as far as the charging cable, it does use a USB-C cable. And you are gonna have to use this because obviously in this price range, you don't get Qi wireless charging. But speaking of the charging, I actually think the battery life is pretty decent on this pair as well. Now this isn't one of those that gets close to 10 hours on a single charge, but you're still going to get about six hours on the earbuds themselves with about 24 hours using the case. And I think for most normal average people that are using earbuds, most of them are not using them more than six hours at a time. And I really don't think most people are using them more than 24 hours in a week. So you won't have to charge the case very often. Uh, and this is a huge plus because this pair doesn't have fast charging. Now, moving over to looking at the actual case, the earbuds themselves, like I said, this is a very small pair. Uh, you see that the case is one that you can easily throw in your pocket or your purse or bag or whatever, uh, and it's just not gonna take up a whole lot of space. Now on the back, you can see the USB-C input for charging, and then around on the front, you have four indicator lights, and this is how you gauge how much battery life is on the case. Now, moving over to the earbuds, like I said, this is a small design. Uh, you can see it's just designed to just go further into your ear. It's a very comfortable pair. It's one of those I could just run around or jump or whatever, and they just don't move at all. I mean, there's not a lot of weight, and most of the weight is already sitting inside of your ear and not hanging on the outside, which is what causes a lot of other earbuds to fall out. Now, as far as the controls, this pair does use touch controls, and I'm happy to say that they give you control over everything. So you have your play, your pause, your ability to skip your tracks forward, 
can go backwards, you have volume control, and this is just, again, another company that proves you can have control over everything and you don't have to sacrifice anything. Now, for you guys that do like to use your earbuds for phone calls, I think they did a pretty decent job here. Now, this obviously isn't one of the best microphones that I've heard, but I think in most situations, and I think people on the other end of the line, uh, you're not really gonna have any complaints. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here is the mic test using the Tozo A1. And again, I think it does a very good job of picking up my voice. Uh, obviously there is some digital noise and it does have a slight bit of warmth to it, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can see up here. So this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound, because the sound on these, I was very impressed with, not only because it gets really loud, which is impressive for an inexpensive pair, but they also upgraded these from the originals because the originals didn't really have any bass at all. And they decided to bump this up, but they still kept this very tight. I mean, this is a fast bass where it hits, and it quickly moves on to the next hit. It's not one of those that's giving you that subwoofer type feel. Uh, so one thing I will say is if you're a bass head, I don't think you will be happy with these. Um, they definitely lack as far as giving you that thick punch, but the plus to that is they don't get congested. They don't sound muddy. This is not one of those warmer sounding earbuds because the mids and the treble are definitely the star of the show. I mean, it is a brighter sounding earbud. The mids sound some of the best that I've heard in any pair of earbuds. I mean, vocalists always sounded up front. You can hear different characteristics in vocalists. You can hear all the changes in the vocals. And it just made it really nice to go through and listen to a lot of things that I've already been used to hearing. Because at least in true wireless earbuds, mids are usually an afterthought. It's usually the bass or the treble uh, and the mids are usually just left alone. So it's nice to see a company bump this up and push this a little bit more forward. And the same thing kind of goes with the treble. The treble is definitely bumped up in this pair. Uh, it is a brighter sounding earbud. And I will say at higher volumes, at times it can get harsh. Now that means that S's can sometimes have that like sibilant sound. Same thing with the crashing of cymbals. If you have it turned up loudly and depending on the recording itself, it again can be a little harsh, but I do like this because it's just very detailed. It's very clean. Uh, and I don't always listen to my earbuds at the max volume, so I didn't have that sibilant sound often, but I did notice it when I wanted to push these up as loud as they would go. Now, with saying all this about the sound signature, another thing that this benefits is the sound stage and the sound imaging, because this is a much wider sounding earbud. It always made me feel like I was in a very large room and the details that you're able to pick up made it very easy to tell where different sounds and instruments and things were coming from. So really my overall opinion is this. This is just a fantastic value in that under $20 market. Even in the under $50, I think these are a standout pair of earbuds. Do keep in mind, you're not getting Qi wireless charging. You're not getting fast charging. There's no app support. And the battery life is just kind of middle of the road. But if you can look past those things, the sound quality that you're getting in this price range, the openness that they have, and also the volume and the comfort level that you're getting out of these earbuds, uh, make it one of those that I think you'll reach for a lot more than you think you would. And, and, and again, I would recommend this to pick up this pair just even as a backup pair to your more expensive pair that, you know, there's some earbuds that I don't feel comfortable using outdoors where it might rain or where I might be sweating or if I'm by a pool or at the beach or something like that. But I also would have no reservation recommending this as a main pair. So you don't have to get these as a backup. If you're looking for an inexpensive pair that just has excellent audio quality, the Tozo A1s definitely check that box. But guys, that wraps up my video on the upgraded version of the Tozo A1s. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.